Hey guys, it's the dude who talks with a five o'clock shadow and welcome to a new video. So for today I'm going to be talking about the new album from Desolator called Sermon of Apathy which came out last week on Black Lion Records. So the question, who are Desolator? Well, they are a death metal quartet hailing from Sweden, so already some huge promise there. They were formed in 2009, and after a demo and a split later, they released their first album in 2013, called The Unearthly Monument. And before Sermon of Apathy, they even put out an EP called Spawn of Misanthropy. So, on Desolator, we have, and yet again, huge apologies in advance and a mispronunciations, Stefan Nordstrom on guitar and vocals, Joachim Rudmir on guitar and vocals again, and Jonas Berkovist on bass and vocals, and Victor Parry on drums. So, the big question, what did I think of Sermon of Apathy? Did I enjoy it, or did I just feel, you know, apathetic about this album? Let's just find out, eh? Things first, I wanted to talk about the album art, which was created by Alex Tartsus. I think it really nails an 80s horror look crafty and tentacle vibe and just looking at it it just looks absolutely fucking sick so all right so music wise let's start off like i always do with the opening track portal tomb and yeah things start off well there's no like prolonged intro we're straight into death metal territory here it here so first minute we treated some like really nice riffs and a little bit of a harmony from the two guitarists in play and then it just goes up a gear with some like fast paced blast beats and then the vocals really kick in and it's that kind of deep throaty growl which I'm obviously a fan of though there's from the second vocalist there's much more high pitched scream so I do like that kind of dynamic and they do well to harmonise on that as well so yeah this song is definitely ticking all the boxes you know with like decent musicianship there's like tight drumming good guitar work and yeah decent harsh vocals and I also want to um, give an example of this and I reckon this will get your head banging <laughs> So what I'm liking so far, especially in the first track, is that the waste no time or effort in getting things off the ground, it is straight to the point. Especially through the six minute opener, you kind of feel that that might just like be a bit played out. Luckily, they avoid this. And it gives a really good impression of the record as a whole, and it's really good so far. So the following track, Adversial Doctrine, keeps up the same fa fashion as the opener by mating in a fast pace while adding a, just a few moments that make you just want to bang your head even more. So yeah, for the most part of this album, it is rather fast paced, but there are moments peppered throughout the album where there's pa passages where the guitar work is slowed down to more mid pace level. And that is featured in songs like Creature of Habit, though don't you worry, they go back to being heavy as soon as those small parts are over. So I also want to mention something else I liked about this album, and that is the atmosphere. I feel it has a very bleak yet violent feel to it. Kind of like a very like bleak horror, like something like, yeah, like the album cover. And I feel like the band nails this tone consistently. Like there isn't a song that is going left field and it doesn't, t there isn't a song that takes you out of it. So let's talk about another song on the album and that is Methods of Self-Deception, which doesn't actually start off trying to bash your head with a heavy riff from the get-go, though that does come in about 30 seconds later, and it's this nice chugging riff in the first minute, and it's more inclined to get you slowly nodding your head. I feel that this song has a much more slightly groove orientated feel to it, especially at the fir first part of the song, though they still like change and it switches things up with some like blast beats for some really nice good measure and this song stands out for me because it has a much more dynamic with the different shifts in tempo 
and they have time to fit a solo in there as well. The brutality is though stepped up onto the following song, The Human Condition. It just has a much quicker pace and towards the end of the song it leaves things off with a nice crunchy riff. Though if you thought that wasn't enough, the following song, Vaticide, steps it up even further. And it's better to just um, play you in a sample of this just to tell you what it's all about. just leaves us with the last song on the album which is called The Great Law of the Dead. Now this is the longest song on the album, clocking in at almost nine minutes and has some solid um, guest contributions from Carl Sanders of Nile fame and Oliver Palmquist from the band Fidian. I really hope I've got that right. Um, in terms of songwriting, I feel this is like one of the strongest songs on the record. I feel like it makes full use of its um, long length and especially with the chorus I think it's really decent um, the riffs really help on this song as well and as always there's a beastly guitar solo which I think this is from Carl Sanders so that really helps this song stand out on the album <sighs> this is the part that I don't like I always feel like when I'm saying stuff that I don't like I always Feel like I'm coming across as a bit pompous or frivolous or a bit petty. As much as I really enjoy this album I feel like the, these guys nail a consistent tone but as good as the album was it just didn't hit that sweet spot for me. There wasn't that just one thing that just made me go this album is fucking amazing. Don't get me wrong it's a good album as I've said and there's some really decent parts in the album but it just was it enough to just get me going like yes this is fucking amazing and I think it was just like the repeated listens of the album I just felt like the songs started bleeding into each other and my attention span started slipping now feel free to mock that down below in the comments I probably deserve it but maybe that's just my opinion On television there was this advert about paint and I think this dude held up this paint tin and said it does exactly what it says on the tin. I feel that way about Desolator. It, they do exactly what they do. Pure old school death metal. The musicianship is tight and they deliver some killer riffs. While it may not be the standout album that I was hoping, I definitely enjoyed it so yeah give it a shot. All right, so that was me talking about Sermon of Apathy by Desolator. Have you given this album a listen? Please let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Like always, if you've enjoyed this ramble, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps out. I just want to plug my Facebook page as well, so I'm posting things there daily and I'll give you like a 24-hour head up when a video is coming on YouTube so there's that as well um yeah all I've got left to say to you guys is I've been the doo-doo talks thank you so much for listening you guys are absolutely awesome and cheers and this is also a special toast to the Alma Inn which is sadly not reopening due to like the current pandemic which is shit so yeah there's that all right ciao Day of your sorrow.